Good afternoon everyone, Trevor the Aviator here, where today I come to you guys from a very cold Minneapolis, St. Paul. So I just ended up arriving at the airport and outside it is literally like 6 degrees outside. So for this afternoon's flight I will be taking the CRJ700 back to Chicago Midway where I will be arriving at about 5.30 in the late afternoon so in a few short moments i am going to be heading my way towards security and i'll see you guys when i am through security and wandering around the airport well i just got through security and probably the fastest i have ever gotten through as i literally got through in under five minutes so what a great way to start off the afternoon so with that, I got some time to do some looking around, do some plane spotting before I head my way over to my gate for this afternoon's flight. One thing that surprised me with being here at Minneapolis was actually how empty this airport was compared to other places that I have been to. In fact, with me going through security, it was probably the fastest that I have ever gone through at any airport I've been to. That includes even a small town airport in a place that only has like a few flights a day. But after getting through security though, I decided to do some walking around the airport and also in the center of the airport found this Snoopy statue which I found was a great feature that this airport had to offer. Also with that, since I had some extra time to kill before my flight, I decided to do a little bit of looking around and a little bit of plane spotting as well and also was able to see the Minneapolis skyline and also happy that I was in here as it was absolutely cold outside as it was probably the coldest I have witnessed in a long time. But thankfully though, my flight shortly after was actually going to be departing a little bit earlier than what was originally scheduled because there were not that many people on the flight but with that, I had to stop washing airplanes and actually head to my flight because if I wouldn't have made it, I would have missed my flight to Chicago. But in the meantime, though, I am going to be getting on this flight very shortly, and I will see you guys when I get on the airplane and see what this flight has to offer as we head our way back to Chicago.
with the temperature that was starting to drop as it was six degrees when I took off, I think it was probably a good thing that I left Minneapolis at the time that we depart. With that, as I ended up departing from the airport, for a while I ended up seeing quite a bit of snow as we were going through the Minneapolis area. And I will say this is probably the most snow that I have seen in quite a while with the exceptions of in the mountains on previous trips. But as we happened to get a little bit further south, while there was still a lot of snow that was around, it slowly started to get a little bit less as we headed our way towards the southern part of the state. But then after that, we eventually began to head our way up into the clouds. And with that, our view was kind of blocked for the majority of the rest of the flight. For my experience inside of the airplane for this flight, I will say overall the seat that I was in for this afternoon's flight was again a pretty comfortable experience. I will say it is not like what it is for a mainline cabin in terms of an economy seat but for what it was though it was overall not that bad and I would say it was better than other aircraft that I have been on and I will say with it being a short flight it was pretty solid for the length of the flight that it was. As we continued on to our flight, it continued to be for a while just really nothing but like gray clouds that were around for a while. So with that, I figured that I would show you guys of what the inside of the plane looks like. And to give you guys an idea, it is actually a 2-2 configuration. The first class area was a two-in-one configuration with nine seats, and then Delta Comfort Plus, which was behind the first class, had 16 seats, and then the main cabin area where I was at had 44 seats, making it for a total of 69 seats on this flight. A little bit later was when the drink and food came where for this afternoon flight I had a water followed by a Biscoff cookie. After I enjoyed my little snack that I had, the skies were actually starting to clear up and also it, we were actually going to be arriving a little bit early so very shortly we actually will begin our descent as we head our way into Chicago Midway. <laughs>
and welcome to the Midwest Chicago where the local time is 4.58. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on items stowed until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Be careful when opening overhead vents, so avoid any compromise that may have shifted during flight. You may receive an email. Once we landed here at Chicago Midway, it was definitely a little bit warmer and not as much snow as there was up in Minnesota. So that was on the bright side with this, but it was still relatively cold though. But overall though, I will say for this afternoon's flight, it was a pretty good experience for what it was as it was only an hour. And we ended up arriving into Midway actually a little bit earlier than what it was originally scheduled. So that was another plus there, which made it for an easy transition into being able to get off the plane and such. And sure enough, we were headed to our gate as well very quickly. And with that, if you guys sticked around to this video, Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you guys enjoyed this trip report. If you guys are interested in watching more content then go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you think of the video. Until then, this is Trevor the Aviator from Chicago Midway International Airport. Thank you everyone and I'll see you guys soon with some more amazing content.